I have a question specifically about homeless. So this has been an ongoing concern, not just for our city, um, because we've seen the, this problem grow over time, but this has also been a, a concern for most of North Orange County. Um, for the last several years, uh, I've have worked with the, my firm has actually worked for the city of Anaheim. We had the great pleasure of working for council member Chris Murray, where I was her senior policy aide. Um, and when I was doing that particular, when I was in that particular role, the um, riverbed, as many of you may recall, was basically the largest homeless encampment on the West Coast. It was really an atrocity. And no matter which side of the homeless issue you stand on, um, there is no excuse under the sun in my book for allowing people to live in that manner. Not only that, but the residents and the businesses that were adjacent to it were victimized in ways that I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Um, where you had mobile home parks on the far side, those folks were having their um, yards run into, their uh, water taken, things stolen. You had businesses where people were loitering all over, um, were defecating on the sidewalks. and. One of the things that um, I was able to do in working with Councilmember Murray, which I'm really proud of, is that we came up with a program that I would like to see done here in Orange. And it was called Operation Home Safe. And what that, what that meant was SAFE was actually an, a, um, an acronym. And what the, the whole point of the program was to give fair warning and to let um, people who continued in the, in the position of homelessness in our parks, in our neighborhoods, around our businesses, were given fair warning that this was no longer acceptable, that we had ordinances, that we had codes that were gonna be enforced. But then we also did um, huge resource outreaches and our, our city cops, our police officers with their um, um, heart group um, are doing this as well and they've been doing this um, for years now. But people were then given on a one single day, a big triage day, which we did out in Angel Stadium, where people were given that fair warning and then given resources. Do you need a plane ticket home to somewhere in the Midwest? Do you need to get into shelter? Do you need a bed for the night? Do you need some help with your belongings? Do you need um, addiction services? Do you need mental health services? All of those were available and people were allowed to get what they need without consequences, with care, with dignity, and with a lot of sensitivity to the issues that they were dealing with. And once we went through that, then we were able to turn to Judge Carter and say, okay, we've done everything you've asked. There's a bed for every person, there was resources given, there was fair warning. Now we need to enforce, and that's what the E stands for in Home Safe, is enforcement. And at that point, once you were given every opportunity, every resource, every aspect of help that we could give you, you were asked to move along. And at that point, that riverbed was cleared. And I think that at this point, we need to do something similar here in the city of Orange. With what you're seeing along the Santiago, um, Santiago Riverbed, what you're seeing at Hart Park, what you're seeing up behind Grijalva is just unacceptable. In fact, when you look at, um, if you get my newsletter, you will see that um, there, the OPD, and thank God for OPD, um, actually caught a predator who had victimized four women up behind Grijalva Park and at the top of, um, not Hart Park, but at Tustin and on the river trail there. Um, but that person was a transient who was living in the riverbed and that needs to stop. And once we do those things, once we implement something like Operation Home Safe and bring all of the social services together, bring all of the resources together so we can do something, do an effort like this, then the police can do their job. They can focus on the criminal element among the homeless and make sure that that does not affect our residents and protect our residents, but they can also focus on their regular jobs, which is hard enough as it is without having to spend tons and tons of time and resources, you know, dealing with just transient who just needs resources. And I have a couple of other things about that that I wanna share. So I'm just gonna check really quick. Okay, so more questions about homelessness. So, um, so this is just a big ongoing issue, not only because we're in a pandemic, you know, the people need services, but we also need to be protected. Um, a lot of people are out walking right now. A lot of people are taking advantage of the fresh air because they're tired of being cooped up. The last thing they need is the, to feel unsafe in their neighborhoods or along our parks and trails. So again, I come back to enforcement. Enforcement, once you've made it clear 
that you are willing to help, but past help, if someone doesn't take it, there are consequences to that, is perfectly the right way to go as far as I'm concerned.